Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is go home and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 4 and verse 50. Then Jesus told him, go back home, your son will leave. And the man believed what Jesus said and started home. In our anchor scripture, a government official came up to Jesus and pleaded with him to follow him from Canaan to Capernaum to heal his son. Now Capernaum was not too far away from Canaan. So the man wanted Jesus to come to his house and lay hands on the sick son. The Bible records that Jesus said to the man, go back home. Your son will leave. Two sentences, go back home. Why? Your son will leave. The portion of the scripture I would like for us to meditate on is the next part of the sentence. The Bible says, and the man believed what Jesus said and started home. At the point where Jesus was telling this man to go back home, there was no evidence that his son was healed. There were two routes the man could have taken. He could have stayed and continued, ple- continued pleading with Jesus or maybe looking for someone else to help. Or he could turn back and go home. The Bible says he believed Jesus and he started home. Question, what stance have you taken? The stance you take after the Lord has spoken is evidence of whether you believe or not. Jesus said, go home, your son will leave. He proved his belief by going home. Jesus has told you, rejoice, you are healed. What posture do you take? Do you keep crying about the symptoms or do you truly rejoice? The Lord tells you he has settled you. What posture do you take? Do you keep nagging him about your need for settlement or do you head back home to see how your testimony plays out? Your ability to turn and go back home is proof that you believe the word the Lord has given you. So today, I speak not to everyone, but to that person who has secured a word from Jesus. Has Jesus told you that your baby is coming? Has Jesus assured you that your child will be healed and delivered? Has Jesus assured you that he will settle you maritally? Has Jesus assured you of a job? Has Jesus given you a word? then head home. You see, the period after the word comes usually looks like the period just before. It looks as though nothing has happened. But if you look at our anchor scripture, you will see that as the man set out to return home, his servants met him to tell him that his son was healed at the word of Jesus. Head home, my dear brother. Head home, my dear sister. Has Jesus said it? It is done. Prove your obedience by heading home. And while you begin to go, dance and rejoice. For soon you will see the evidence of the speakings of the Lord in your life. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, please, irrespective of how things look, we declare that we believe your word to us. And we thank you in advance for the manifestation. Continue to take all the glory of mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.